Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This evening I'm going to be doing another movie review, so hopefully you find this one interesting. This movie is a horror film from Australia, English language, released in the year 2018, directed by Chris Sun, and this film is called Boar. So Boar is set in the outer regions of Australia. You've got the farmland that have been terrorised by an unknown presence that's tearing down farm fences and also killing the livestock. And so this mis uh, mystery needs to be solved, and so two lifelong friends venture out to this area to repair the fences and also see what's actually going on. But to their horror, they realise that the mysterious presence is in fact a giant boar. Now this boar is ferocious and basically kills anything in its path and these two friends are going to find themselves on that very path along with a few other people who are unfortunate enough to cross paths with it. So if the community is to rid itself of this dangerous presence once and for all they're going to have to try and kill it and so it's going to be a battle of human versus animal and who wins and uh, who comes out of this uh, in one piece is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Boar. I was excited for this film for the longest time. Now for reasons, you know, the uh, production problems, it actually took a few years to be finally made. And so when the end product came out, I was really, really excited and because for two very good reasons. Number one, I'm a massive fan of this director. I believe that this director is exactly what Australian horror needs. You've got a guy who's actually uh, able to make movies that aren't perfect but have a very lasting impact. And so if you get memorable horror films, then that's something that needs to be applauded is that you know, the reason why they're so memorable is that they're so shocking, they're so violent, and so it doesn't really pull any punches, and it reminds you of French horror. The French are very good at actually showing you extreme violence and not making any apologies, and a lot of Australian films, they are afraid to do this, and so they water themselves down, and they really can't get out of the constraints of Australia. They can't market themselves worldwide, but ever since Wolf Creek, there have been a few other horror films from Australia that are able to do this, because it's almost like Wolf Creek gave the rest of us confidence that we can actually match it with the best of them as far as world cinema is concerned. So Chris Sun is definitely one of these directors and what he specialises in is really good gore effects and so mixing that with a creature feature I was very excited to see what he could deliver and I was hoping that he could actually learn from the mistakes he's made in his past films and actually create something that was going to be uh, very very memorable and I will say thankfully at the end of the day Boar is an incredibly entertaining film and it's a movie that I'm going to watch more than once because of the fact that it doesn't take itself seriously this is everything that is the true essence of a creature feature movie this is not supposed to be realistic this is supposed to to be a fun entertaining ride and showing you as I said the, the ultimate showdown between animal and human and I thought that that showdown in this film was really good is that not only do you have a great sense of horror but you've also got a great sense of comedy the comedy in this film is through the banter and the banter is down to the script I thought the script was absolutely fantastic and allows these characters to blossom themselves into very likable people and so although you don't love them you still don't want to see them die is because the banter and the exchanges between each other is so good and the reason why for me it was so good is because it takes me back to home. This is the way we actually talk to each other. So the Australian quality in this movie, this is something that Chris Sun uses and he's saying, and he's basically showcasing what Australia is. And he's saying that, you know, this is my country. This is something I'm very proud of. I'm not going to force Australian actors to do American accents. That's something I really, really like. Is that, okay, this is Australian, an Australian horror film made for Australian fans first. I'm not saying if you're not Australian, you're not going to enjoy it. But for me, it's just a breath of fresh air to see that this is there are directors out there who have pride in their country and actually showcasing and marketing and advertising Australia out there as to say, okay, well, we have our own little you know, quirky style, the, the way of talking to each other, and this is something to be proud of instead of something trying to hide. And you're basically having the confidence in showcasing what Australia is. And that's why the movie works is because it's got a lot of confidence, not only in, in the banter and the script, but also in the fact that the boar is shown in this movie. The boar is in, actually in full view. And so that's something that I liked. On one hand, I like the fact that seeing less is best because it forces you to use your imagination. But it also showcases on the other side, if you're showing the boar in full view, then it shows you, okay, I've got confidence in something that I've made. And so it's almost like Chris Sun is showcasing his project. And that project, to me, could have derailed the film if it looked really bad, but thankfully it doesn't look very bad at all. I Actually, I thought it was it gained, as I said, it's that quality of what a creature feature film is, is that it's not serious, and I thought that the overall look of this boar and even the CGI version of the boar, I thought it gives it charm and that charm is something that you need in a creature feature movie. This is something that made Razorback so good. Now Razorback was a movie made a long time ago in Australia that clearly has inspired boar and even Chris Sun has said himself that he's a massive fan of Razorback. 
And what made Razorback so good is the imperfections. But they were perfected to a point where it gives it that movie that charm. Is that like, okay? This is not a realistic film. It's not trying to be a documentary. It's not trying to be a, a warning you know, about how we treat nature. This is just a, a, a carnage, basically carnage that has been thrown on the screen, and you're just going to sit back with some popcorn and a beer and just enjoy what's you know, what, what is actually transpiring in front of you. And that's exactly what Chris Sun brings to the table. I thought the production of this film was absolutely fantastic. Not only do you have a very good looking ball but you've got fan phenomenal cinematography uh, basically in every movie Chris Sun is actually getting better and actually see I can see that he's getting more money behind his films and the more money he gets the more he can showcase his true talent and so you've got the setting that I thought was great very vast landscape and this ball could be anywhere and so I thought that the, the dangerous presence was around every corner and you're never quite sure when it's going to come out and that makes some pretty suspenseful moments especially in the night scenes the night scenes had a lot of fog and it almost felt like it was a descent into hell and so you've got sound effects that I thought were used very effectively and you've got some really nasty moments you got that Chris Sun gore that you'd expect from uh, if you are a fan of this guy's previous works and so you've got uh, an all-star cast you've got John Jarrett Roger Ward uh, you've got Chris Haywood Ernie Dingo a cameo from Steve Bisley you got up-and-comer Hugh Sheridan you've also got American horror legend Bill Mosley who's also in Chris Sun's other film Charlie's Farm and so that's something that I like is that there's a little bit of connection there between Australia and America and so you've also got Nathan Jones who is this mammoth guy and I really liked his character because it was a charming sort of character but it was like the mammoth human versus the mammoth sort of uh, animal and it was like a showdown at the end that I thought was really good so yeah as I said the production is very good the script was absolutely fantastic the script is the best part of the movie because the banter is so hilarious and that it keeps your interest when the boar is not on the screen and so it would have been easy just to rely on the boar and just have boring characters and therefore you know basically filler until the boar comes back but when you've got fantastic characters you've got fantastic banter that is very funny you get you, you basically don't need the ball to be interested you don't need the ball to be on the screen all the time and so when it's not on the screen it never feels like filler because you're always got something that can uh, entertain you while you're waiting for the carnage and so that was all absolutely fantastic I think Chris Sun really nailed it in a lot of aspects the only problems with the film are very minuscule problems I thought that some of the editing here and there was a little bit clunky I thought there was some sense of deja vu some repetitive scenes that I didn't quite like and also the ending could have been tweaked a little bit although the ending is not terrible I thought it could have been a little bit better if it went a different direction but putting those minuscule problems aside this is a movie that is very light-hearted it's a very fun film it's a popcorn horror film uh, but at the same time it's basically Basically taking inspiration from absolutely fantastic horror films of the past it's not a remake of Razorback but it's clear that this is a fan of Razorback the director and that's what I love about it is that this is a director who's not making movies for money basically he's making movies for the love of horror and because of that it translates very well and horror fans will appreciate that especially Australian horror fans finally seeing a director who's proud of where he comes from and proud of what he's doing therefore uh, I'm sure that this director is going to go on to bigger and better things so boy it's a fantastic experience it's very entertaining i'm going to give it four stars all right guys that's it for my review hope you enjoyed it till next time keep watching movies and i'll see you there